This video will go over a quick way to determine the heart rate. And this is just one of very many ways. So to begin, I'm going to take a look at where the QRS complex falls. You can notice that we have the heavy lines, and then the shorter, smaller lines, and another heavy line, smaller, 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 heavy, and so on. We're going to take a look at where that QRS complex falls within the heavy lines. So we can notice that it's one, two, about two and a half small boxes in. So we're going to make a mark. Okay, now we're going to go and take a look at where our next QRS complex falls. Our next QRS complex is going to fall about that two and a half mark as well. And I'll take a mark. So now how do we figure out the heart rate? Well, using this 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50, 42 method, we can notice that the space between this mark, then we go exactly five little boxes over, so halfway between those solid lines again, there's mark one, mark two, mark three, and then finally I already marked mark four. So that means that if the QRS complex fell right here, we know that the heart rate would be 300 beats per minute. Since we go one, two over, we would now know that it's 150 for the heart rate. One, two, three, if the QRX complex fell right there, it would be 100, and one, two, three, four. We now know that the heart rate for this EKG strip is about 75. So, if we do check it again, you always want to check more than one segment, we're just going to rough hand this. So, one, two, three, four. So let's again, one, two, three, four, so 75. So the heart rate's approximately 75. If it was, if the QRS complex fell right there, we know that it's 60, 50, and 42. You won't see clinically many more, many heart rates below 42 